Hey, what's going on guys? Logdadzip here. Ah, Minecraft 1.9. One of the most controversial updates to Minecraft to ever hit Minecraft. And so what made it so controversial exactly? Well, 1.9 was the version of Minecraft that released to us the combat update. One of the most divisive updates to ever come to the game. Released on Monday, February 29th, 2016, the update overhauled the combat system, among other additions and changes to the core gameplay. With it came attack strength mechanics, attribute systems, a brand new offhand slot for dual wielding, shields, potion tipped arrows, the removal of sword blocking, and a lot more. So needless to say, it was a huge change, needless to say, <laughs> pretty substantial changes. Well, fear not, my friends, because you guys asked, and we listened, and right around the corner, we've got an exciting surprise indeed. 1.8 Combat, returning to Minecraft in 1.13, baby. And you guessed it, using only one command. That's right, my friends. Welcome back to Only One Command, a Minecraft Redstone series where I showcase two amazing command block creations that only take one command to add amazing things to your Minecraft world. And today, we're bringing back 1.8 Combat, baby. This was one of the most highly requested commands that you guys left in the comment section of one of our previous Only One Command videos. Only One Command videos, I mean. <laughs> and so naturally, myself and Ethan, aka Raptor, took it upon ourselves to determine exactly the best way to implement such combat changes and all you need is one single command block and you can find the command you need to add this PvP combat update change to your world in the description of today's video all you'll need to do once you have it in game is type in slash give at P C O M M press tab then press enter on your keyboard to get yourself a command block go ahead and place that down while you're in creative mode and once you're in creative mode you'll be able to find the command you need linked in the description of today's video as I said it's already typed in right here from there just activate the command block and behold as it installs. Thank you for downloading 1.8 PvP Only One Command. Not only do you get the command, but you also get a fun little optional resource pack that makes everything look that much more convincing. It is optional, but I would recommend you install it. And by doing that, you just click here and you'll get a fun little link. So we're going to go ahead and explain to you all the different changes this command block contraption adds and changes in your world. But first, I did need to let you all know we need your help. In the comment section below, leave us suggestions for only for some other Only One Command features you'd like to see appear on the channel. With that though, a quick word from our sponsor. Me, Log.Zip. Pick yourself up your very own Only One Command t-shirt by clicking the link in the description of today's video. And now, on with the show. Alrighty, so let's begin with what the current combat system looks like, which was implemented in 1.9 and is currently active all the way up to 1.13. Ah. Uh. In 1.9 PvP, the attack cooldown prevents you from spamming. The more you click, the less damage you deal. Allow us to demonstrate this in front of your very eyes. Check it out. We got ourselves a husk spawn egg. What's good, baby? Yo, we're gonna hit him good. Bam, bam, bam. But you see, if you spam it, you won't actually deal really any damage. I may as well be punching the guy right now. It's kind of ridiculous. However, in the old ways, it didn't work that way. You could spam click to your heart's content and every single attack would do the same amount of damage. See, here's an example. Again, look. Look how many hearts that just dealt. Three hearts. Again, another three hearts, but now you spam it and, well, I mean, <laughs> the diamond sword is still pretty strong, but better example might be to use this wooden sword here, huh? Wooden sword, yeah, yeah. It's hardly doing any damage. It's kind of ridiculous, see? We would have at least killed the husk by now if this was the old combat system. But more on swords in a little bit. For now, we take a look at the enchanted golden apples, which were also changed in 1.9. Entirely different set of effects, lengths of the effects, etc., etc., etc. Check them out. Enchanted golden apple. Delicious. Yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> in 1.9, healing is based on saturation. You see the little hunger bar right next to your hearts down there by your hot bar? Kind of looks like meat shanks. Delicious meat. Well, if your hunger bar is full, you can heal quite quickly. See, look. Healed instantly. Healed instantly. Healed instantly. Mm, slow down a little bit, you see? As you get less of your hunger bar working properly, you don't heal as fast. And you'll notice there that that hunger bar just decreased by one and a half. The moment it goes down one and a half, you can no longer heal any additional damage taken. So if we were to try and get hit by this cactus again, we're not gonna see that heart get healed until we completely fill our hunger bar back up. 
And you see, we did that temporarily with the rotten flesh, but as you know, eating rotten flesh, well, not only is it disgusting, and you should feel bad for eating another fellow, well, once alive human, <laughs> but it also gives you a net loss on hunger. However, we did heal. Now, this had a huge change, even recently, beyond 1.9. However, not the same as the golden apples of yore. Take a look at all the effects that are currently here. There's none, but I'm gonna eat this golden apple and there will be some that in fact appear. Regen two, absorption four, resistance and fire resistance. Five minutes of those, about two minutes of absorption and 20 seconds of regen two. You can see we've got a whole bunch of extra hearts down there. We got the whole wazoo and not only that, but it restored our saturation bar, our hunger bar a little bit as well. So we can now take some instant damage and you'll notice here that once we get rid of all of the gold hearts, we should start healing up instantly the moment we start losing those red hearts. Watch, check it out. Bam, bam, bam. Heals real fast. In 1.9, sword blocking has been replaced by shields. Shields block 100% of damage instead of 50% of damage. Anyone that does not remember how shields used to pre or how swords used to previously work, well, I'm pleased to let you know that I'll show you right now. You used to be able to actually right click with swords and you would hold it in front of you and we'll find an image of that happening right now. You could probably see it on screen. Either way, that is now gone, replaced by shields instead, which block all damage, which is nice, but it's not the same as sword blocking. So it does complicate things a little bit differently. You used to just need a sword and you could block. Now you need a shield, it costs resources. You gotta click random, well, I mean, I guess it's still a right click, but. It's a change nonetheless. And speaking of changes, Ender Pearls were given a change as well. They were provided a cooldown. So you cannot spam click any longer, you see? You got to see that look at look at the hot bar down there. Did y'all see that hot bar down there? No, well that's okay cuz we're going to zoom in on it. Look at what happens when I use one of these ender pearls. It's got a little overlay that slowly ticks downwards after you use it. And if you look, I cannot I have to wait for that cooldown to appear. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die if yeah, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for the golden apple. At least they're still kind of good. Point is though, you used to be able to spam them constantly. And that was removed in 1.9. And so now that we've discussed the sword changes, the apple changes, the shield slash blocking changes, and the ender pearl changes, it's time for us to take a step back in time and revert these changes to look a little bit more like 1.8. Press the button to activate 1.8 PVP. And as you saw before, this baby installs instantaneously. So let's show you what this newfangled 1.8 emulator looks a little bit like. Enchanted golden apples now work like they used to. Y'all ready? Time to eat this thing. Look at the difference in effects. Now there's 40 seconds of regeneration. Absorption two, resistance and fire resistance remain for five minutes, but double the amount of healing time using one of these apples. However, the amount of absorption you get from them has been decreased as it was in 1.8. In addition, the old healing ability is now back in 1.13 with this command as well. However, we'll need to unlock it by heading into the nether and grabbing ourselves some blaze powder. So in we go. Yeah. Oh man, what a journey. All right, let's go kill some blazes. All righty, let's head on in. Give me what I want. Blaze powder, which you'll get from a blaze rod that you turn into blaze powder. And just like that, the old healing function is now available. So as you can see, despite having a full hunger bar, we are not healing up this heart the way it used to be back in 1.8. See, now if we were had the current combat system in place, you know, we'd be healing it up real good, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get some real food. What's up, Betsy? Time to burn! And so now look at what happens when we heal on up. Get it, baby? That's perfect. And I'm gonna now occasionally drop special ender pearls. They look like snowballs. <laughs> because they, they, they might just be snowballs that we renamed, but they work like 1.8 ender pearls. Allow me to explain by summoning in a friendman here. Hey, 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 mister. Die, 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 die. Oh, I killed the bunny by mistake. Yo, that was just, that was like a side effect. I didn't even need to go for the bunny. Instead, 
Ah, it's so sad, guys. Let, like, can we get some ender pearls? Some of those good ender pearls. You know what I'm talking about? Give me the ender pearls. There we go. Much better. I'm gonna switch into creative mode to show off these differences. So as you can see, we got our regular ender pearl here, and we cannot spam that thing at all. We gotta wait for the cooldown. However. We could, if we so pleased, spam the snowball under Pearl. And so let's do exactly that. Look, spam, 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 spam. And we start going all over the place. <laughs> Wherever we throw it, basically, that's where we're going to show up. Uh-huh, look at all this crazy movement. Wow, we are lagging up a storm. Wow, that's probably why they got rid of it. Jeez. Now, you were probably like, hey, I still saw the attack speed when you were killing that Enderman. I thought it was supposed to get rid of it. Well, in order to unlock the attack speed change, you need to use your sword. When half of its durability is consumed, it will transform into some of these new swords. Now, these are the current swords in Minecraft. You see different attack speeds as well as different attack damages based on what type of sword there is. The moment we get them down to half, you'll see a change occur. So why don't we go ahead and spawn in little Johnny here, and we're going to go ahead and knock this gold sword down as fast as we can. Despite there being attack speed right now, the moment we get the sword down to full durability at half, uh, <laughs> half durability, you'll see the change in action. Did you see that? It literally just changed in front of me. And if you didn't see it, well, let's go ahead and get an instant replay because I think I wasn't accidentally recording that part. Look at the durability bar on this wooden sword. I'm telling you, the moment this thing gets down to half durability, you'll see the durability bar completely disappear. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Look, you see, it completely reset. And now look at the sword. 20 attack speed and 3 attack damage. Closer to what it looked like in 1.8. Now we can spam click this no problem whatsoever. And we will be able to get the same amount of damage output on every single swipe. Yo, what's good, honey? What's good, honey? Yo, let, let, don't mind if I, don't mind if I do. Yeah, yeah, spam it all day. That's the only way. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. So here's a look at all those swords at once. 20 attack speed across the board, but plus three attack damage, plus three attack damage for wood and gold, plus four for stone, plus five for iron, plus six for diamond, the old values. And again, if you look at the hot bar here, there is absolutely no sword thingy. You see, do you see the difference? Look at my cross here, the center there. See that sword slowly filling up or even yet, look by my hot bar. You see that sword in the bottom there filling up slowly? Yep. On this one, it doesn't even show up because you can spam click like a madman. And finally, sword blocking. You'll need to throw a scoot, which you get from turtles, onto a sword in order to right click and cause blocking to occur. So why don't we go ahead, we're gonna spawn in some turtles, feed them so that they give us some scoot, let them do their thing, mm, don't mind if I scoot, scoot over, etc., etc. Okay, this is taking too long. Spawn already! Spawn already! Do it! What's good, baby? Yeah! Oh, wait, I think I did it wrong. Well, in order to get scoot, you have to have eggs hatch. So, you know, instead, let's just give ourselves some. Drop your sword of choice on the ground. Drop a scoot right on top of that thing. They won't actually consume one another, but you'll now have a sword with blocking ability. And so let's go ahead and show you what that looks like without blocking and with blocking. So look at the damage he does. One and a half. One and a half. One and a half. But now look at what happens when I'm right clicking with this sword in hand. Suddenly, no damage or a half heart of damage. It's like you've got sword blocking. You unfortunately don't get to see yourself blocking with your sword, but you know that it works because all you got to do is right click, make it happen. Get it! And just like that, my friends, 1.8 PvP mechanics are now added to your Minecraft 1.13 world using only one command. We'll be making some additional changes and bug fixes to this command. For now, though, you know, it's released. So you can leave us some feedback and some comments in the comment section below about some other changes you might want to see added to it, and we'll make sure to get that nice and updated for y'all. But today's command was courtesy of Velvoxaraptor, who's linked in the description below as well. Shouts out to Ethan, everybody. Yo, the man, the myth, the legend. If you want to see more Only One Commands on the channel, you already know what to do. Leave a comment with what kind of Only One Command you'd like to see us make in the comment section below. And you got a chance at seeing it featured today. If you enjoyed today's video, thanks for leaving a like. And if you really enjoyed it, thanks for subscribing. Hit that bell. Get notified. With that, we leave you. We'll see you later.